Hello, friend. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Today we continue to learn a lesson from Mark chapter 4, one of the many lessons that our dear Savior Jesus teaches in that great chapter. Jesus continues to emphasize the need for the church to proclaim the gospel. The church has one function, to proclaim the gospel for the salvation of the world. The objective of the church is the same as God's objective. He wants everyone to be saved. The church also wants everybody to be saved. And how does the church help in that process? The church cannot save anyone, but we can take the seed. We can take the gospel. People hear the gospel and believe in it and are saved. That's how it works. The world is needy for good news. It is thirsty for good news. And you and I have it. Let's give it to them. The church is here to proclaim the gospel. Listen to how Jesus taught this parable. Jesus said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up. The seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it because the harvest has come. There is an interaction between us and God. We plant the seed and he makes it grow. I find it almost humoristic what Jesus says about the farmer, whether he sleeps or rises, whether he lays down or gets up, makes no difference. The seed will keep growing because God is behind the whole process. It's good to know, isn't it, that our work in the Lord is never in vain. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So long.